Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Well today's the day where I reveal the fish to you. It's all up and running, the sump is done, the plumbing's done, it's all running now, the heaters are on, the lights are connected up, it's all ready to go. So I want to have a look inside and I'll show you what I've done. And here it is guys, all 20 tanks running, all connected to that one sump. All the electricals are done, the lights are hooked up, the heaters are hooked up, both pumps are on. I can't believe this day's here. It's been a long journey. I've been following along on my channel. You'll notice that I started this room or worked on this room in October 2018. It's now June 2019. And it's the first day that the, all the aquariums are on. This water's aging now. I just gotta put the filter media in the sun and the cycle will start. I really can't believe it's happening. I might sound a bit dramatic, but it's it's actually really happening now. I'm just relieved that the plumbing's working really. I had some dramas with it. As you would expect with all those joins and all those pipes, it's probably about three to four hundred joins, I'm not sure. Maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but there are a lot of joins in that, in that plumbing. Had a couple leaks. It was very frustrating as you can imagine. But the majority of the leaks were in the two four-footers. The drain, uh, not the drains, the returns. The returns had multiple leaks in them. For some reason, just that you know, two metre span of pipe, the taps running in, there was leaks. So I just pulled the pin, redid that plumbing. I really didn't want to have to do it, but you have to do it. This, I, you know, I want to run this, this, this room for years. Uh, and yeah, just relying on some sort of putty or some quick fix to fix it and you know, just move on. It's not the right thing to do, so. I cut that plumbing out and redid it. It took me a few days to do it because I was really taking my time on letting that PVC cement cure. But it's obviously paid off because now there are no leaks in this PVC. No leaks in this plumbing. I don't want to jinx it, touch wood, it's working fine. So here's the sump guys. I'm sure you've seen them all before. This is how this one's operating. We've got the three drain lines into this first chamber here. This drain line is from the top row of tanks. The middle drain line is from the middle row of tanks. And that last one at the back there is from the two four-footers. This first chamber, obviously going to have mechanical filtration. Your filter floss, filter sponge, all that stuff. I'll have easy access to it. These pipes aren't actually silicon uh, PVC cemented in. I can detach them and remove the filter media if I need. This next chamber here is going to be for biological filtration, such as the Seeker Matrix that I've got. I've got eight litres of the stuff. I'm not sure how much it's going to fill up there. I might need to buy more, or I'll use their alternative, such as Lava Rock or other porous filter media. Going over to the last chamber, you've obviously got the two heaters there. They're two Eheim Jaegers, both 300 watt heaters. They've got a bit of work to do to warm up this system, but I've also got the aircon power in the room, so they shouldn't be too much work for them. And last but not least, the two 15,000 uh, litre per hour pumps. You can see on the controllers here, they're running it at about 34 watts. They run, can run up to 105 watts, but if I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't need to run them anywhere near that wattage. This is more than enough to pump these, these, these tanks. So guys, this pump right here, it's pumping water. The 12 one by two foot tanks. Well, this pump here is pumping water to these six two by two foot tanks and the two 4B2s. Thought I'd take you off the tripod and show you all the tanks just as I pan across. So for the rest of today, all I'm going to do is clean that secant matrix out, pop it in that sump, and then fill these tanks up with the rest of the pool filter sand that I've got left. I might need some more for those two four footers, 
but I'll see how we go. But anyway, guys, I'll wrap this one up now. Thanks heaps for watching, and I'll catch us in the next one. Bye.